Hi, Shazad Sheikh, Emerging Middle East, and I am in a E30 BMW M3. I'm here with the car's owner, Luke McGreevy. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no worries. What year is this car? Yeah, 1987, so it was one of the one of the first years uh, that they produced. It's a standard. They were from E30. 1985 to 92, I believe, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the standard one, it's not the Evo, um, so it's just the standard uh, 87. Uh, Which engine is point, this one? 2.3. 2.3 litres, yeah. right. What sort of horsepower is that? About 200, about 195 I think, something like that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I think it was then, maybe yeah. not now because it's, yeah. been, it's been a few years, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think well, you know, in the, in the high end of the rev range you get up there a little bit, but uh -huh. uh, but yeah, it's, it seems to be enough for around town. Should we take it for a little drive, is yeah. that all right? Yeah, why Let's do that, wow, man. I, I have driven, I actually owned an E30. Um, I might just move that back a little bit. How does that move? Through here. Ah, here we go. That's okay. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, it all, it's all, it all feels very familiar to me because I had a 325i. Ah, so it's a dog leg first. Ah, uh, you've got to have the dog so this leg. Is, so this is a European one, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, 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 because that's why it's got the dog leg first. That's right. A lot of the Japanese so, ones came with the H box. But, uh -huh. but the and the Euros. American ones were different as well. Like. Yeah, I think some of the American yeah. ones were dog leg and some were H, but but yeah, this was a this is a Euro one, which which to be honest, for investment purposes, I think is the better is the, one the better one. Yeah. And so, where did you find this car? I actually found this in Dubai. However, I was looking for many years for for one in Europe mm -hmm. before prices went a bit crazy, and um, it was quite crazy. it's quite unique. I think it was very much a diamond in the rough. Like a lot, a lot of classics here on on very well looked after, but this one was, and you could tell. Uh, so, I, so I found it on Divisal, basically. <laughs> and, um, so and we're yeah, out yeah. here now. We're straight into a roundabout, um, going around there. Not too fast because there's a lorry in the middle of it, but uh, it's loading up nicely. The steering feels great. This is a nice steering. You've changed the steering wheel, haven't you? I have. Yeah, I've got the original, but. I like, it's a bit like the Martian S, it's a bit wobbly, oh. so the I like the Alcantara feel and the slightly chunkier wheel, so. That's correct, isn't it, Ford, yeah. So it's a uh, five-speed gearbox, this thing. Yeah. Dog leg first, reverse is left and up. We're now in uh, fourth gear, we're already on 110 kilometers an hour. So how long have you had the car now? I think it's coming up for a year and a half. A year and uh, a half, almost. And uh, what have you had to do to it, if anything? Well, when I first got the That's car... That's the fastest moving Land Rover Defender <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen. He's just overtaken a, a BMW M3. That's probably like a check mark for him. It's like, yes, M3, <laughs> done. Doesn't matter what year it was, I've passed one, you know. So yeah, so what, you were telling me, what have you done to this car? So when I got the car, it was actually relatively fine in terms of most people would have said, yeah, no, that's okay. I mean, but I took it down to uh, Auto House and had them go through the car. I replaced uh, a lot of the original bushes back, for, uh, got original German bushes. I got engine mounts done, um, uh, some of the suspension. Um, and little bits and pieces, like I had the engine checked, uh, I had a glass polish done on it just to bring back the, oh, yeah. the, 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 the color a little bit. It has it beautiful bodywork on this, so you can see pictures of it on MerchingEV.com, which I'll post up there later with the article as well. But so just cosmetic stuff, really, not too yeah, much mechanical you know, stuff. Yeah, not a lot had been done to it. They, you know, it didn't really need much. You could tell that someone had looked after it. It's got the three-piece BBS split rims on it, which are quite rare anyway, yeah. so I decided to keep them. And it's got the AC Schnitzer handling kit, which is quite quite rare for that time, especially to have it on it now. So the only thing I really still have to do is the, the shocks, because they've got conies, which I'm not a massive fan of, and they're a bit soft. Yeah, I can so, feel a little bit at the back as well. Yeah, so even so, just in a straight line, you can feel that uh, a little bit. Uh, so I think most people go AC. for the Bilsteins, really, on this. The AC on this is amazing, though, isn't it? <laughs> just the air conditioning. Yeah, it's. You know yeah, what? My hand there is getting cold. This is incredible. Compared to old like car. old 911s, which are which are all I think most gear. people know. Um, compared to older cars, it's the only real classic that you can literally drive this yeah. all through summer. It's it's absolutely amazing. If you put it on four, yeah. it's ice cold. Here we go. This is we're doing about five thousand. Yeah, you need to be between oh, five and seven. There we go. That's there cool. she is. There we go. <laughs> oh, now we're cooking. Yeah. I hope I got. No, I got the wrong gear. Oh, you <laughs> I missed the gear. <laughs> Third, fourth, there you go, yeah. yeah. That dog leg takes a while to get used to, right? So, uh, wow. That's where that's, it comes that's, 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 that's where it comes from, yeah. yeah. So you have to get right up into the rev range and then you start to feel it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll slow down because of the camera coming up. 
you might really got to... Um, the brakes are a little bit mushy on this, right? So... Yeah, they're, they're, you know, I haven't upgraded the brakes. I tend to keep cars relatively stock. I yeah. might get a slightly Rightly different so, compound, yeah. but... Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I sort of cruise around in it, and yeah. you know, with our big open roads, it's not too bad. Exactly, yeah. Steering is great, good feel there, a little bit of play in it, quite, quite a bit, by modern standards, quite a bit of play in it, but yeah. Oh, but when, when it hooks in, it hooks in, yeah? Yeah. The, the big difference between this, and I think a lot of people who had a 325 by yourself yeah. is, when people have a 325, they're used to going around the corner and then all of a sudden the back end going. Yeah. This is so much of a completely different car to drive. When you actually go around, the point is like exactly in the middle and, you, and, and you're and you more likely to lose four wheels than you are two. Oh, uh, so you this. get like a four wheel drift sort of Yeah, yeah, rather, exactly. Yeah. It's very different to the 325 or yeah. the 320s that we all used to have and yeah. you know, in the wet, you, you, you back oh, yeah. end out all I, over the place. I, so. I used to have that a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> I used to get a lot of wheel spin in it as well. I remember getting up to third gear wheel spin on that car. Yeah. Can you do that in this? Have um, you done that in this? Not, not so much here because of, I think mainly because of the heat and because yeah. we've got like a racetrack sort of tarmac yeah. Yeah, here. But in the right, UK yeah. with a little bit of that's right, a yeah. little bit of a shine, that's that's probably, I think yeah. you'd be That's you'd probably be what there. it is, yeah. 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 But well, this is great. I mean, it's cruising so well now. Do you, do you use this car regularly? Ooh, there's a shit ton of sand there. Yeah. Let's just be careful here. There we go. Yeah, so, I, do you use it regularly on the going to work and stuff? Yeah, I use it at least once, maybe twice a week mm -hmm. generally. I mean, I can't really. I like to drive my cars. If I, if I come out in the morning and I look and I see it, yeah. you know, I sort of, uh, and I, you know, and I, and I clean it quite regularly myself uh -huh. as well. And so, so when you do I come the cleaning out, yourself on this car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do take it down to the place every now and again just for the spray wash I don't take it through the you know the ones that ruin your paintwork <laughs> and um, I have it protected so so yeah you know I clean it every now and again I think it's an important part of getting to know your car <laughs> yeah totally yeah I don't think enough people do that here and I think that's a bit of a shame but uh, I used to get a, a real satisfaction out spending Sunday morning cleaning the car and then driving around on Sunday afternoon but of course it would always rain on Sunday exactly. afternoon <laughs> by the time I'd finished cleaning it but uh, but that's pretty cool. And as so, the kids get older as well, I like to you know they they come out and they clean the car. Yeah. Two deer and washes are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you play <labor> can't beat it. <laughs> so are you planning to keep this car? Is this an investment or is this a personal joy? Or wow. you, well, that's a good question actually, and it's come up many a time. Uh -huh. um, I have thought about selling this car twice. And I when think I I've put seen it up, Bizzle, right? yeah, that's right. So when I put it up for sale, I I I, I, st I was cleaning it again, really yeah. polishing it, and then I was driving it around because a couple of people <laughs> were looking at it, and then I thought, you know what? Why am I selling this car? Like, what else am I going to get? I'm only going to. I'm one of those people that, you know, if I sold it, I'd only spend another yeah. 500 hours on online trying to find something to buy. Um, <laughs> and and they're really for. I like 90s periods cars. Yeah. I like the Integrales, the Quattros. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the impresses of a slightly later period and to be honest with you there's not a lot of cars that fit the bill for Dubai in terms yeah. of its roads there are a lot of hot hatches but right. this is very much a cruising car as well that's you know? right yeah so, I mean it feels perfectly at home on these roads doesn't it absolutely that's fine it. That's it. so so I know I've actually the, the guy that I bought the car from actually called me up a short time ago and wanted to buy the car back <laughs> for quite considerably more than I paid it for Whoa, actually. But that, that sounds uh, like a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's you know I figure they come around. So if I he's mean, watching this video now, what's the message for him? Ah, uh, you know yeah, I, I said to the guy you can come around and drive at any time. I said yeah. don't come around for a coffee. We'll go for a drive. I, you know I like to. I yeah. don't mind friends come around and driving the car. And, oh, that's really good. Um, that's really good. It's nice to get these old cars to actually see them out and about, to see them being used. Yeah. And that's what they're for, right? I, I, you know, it's a good point. I think it's criminal. I think it's criminal what people do. I saw yesterday online with all the 911s gone, you know, 964s, which I love. And there was a 964 with like, you know, 10,000 kilometers on it. But personally, I think that's bad. I think these cars should be used. I mean, this has got, not a lot, it's 88,000, 88, yeah. which, is, yeah. which is low for the year, yeah. but it's it's being used. And What did I, you get it at? Well, I got, my, I got it at 70. I wonder if we can turn around. And, and this is a, this is a new one to me. I don't know. I think I'll just go straight. But yeah. So what did you get this? I got I got it at seventy four. So I've done like uh, oh, I've done fourteen thousand yeah, yeah. kilometers in, in, yeah, in yeah. a year and a half, that's, which is that's actually not, right. not bad. Yeah. It's pretty much average mileage. So it's been used as a proper car. Yeah. Well, 
It's been an absolute joy to drive this thing. This is amazing. You know, this is one of the legendary cars, if you think about it. If you were to make a bucket list of cars, I think the E30 M3 is definitely on the bucket list, you know. So this is fantastic. Thank you so much for letting us drive it. Uh, this has been an absolute joy and a pleasure. Thanks for having this car. Thanks for sharing it with us. And thanks for being an average. Hey, no Thank thanks you very much. much. Thanks. thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, please do comment and leave your, your views and opinions on uh, our social media. Find us on uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Just search for Merging Middle East. And of course, same goes for YouTube. Search for Merging Middle East. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please do subscribe. Until the next video, thanks very much. Say something for me. Say something. So which, so which, say something. Say, say something. 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 Yeah, something.